Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. And uh, today we're going to show you uh, one way of doing threading on the lathe. And uh, it works actually really, really well, especially if you like working with uh, taps and dies. Um, you can do actual threading on the lathe itself uh, if your lathe supports doing threading. Um, so you can do inside outside threading. Today we're going to do this uh, using um, a tap and um, show you how we do that so that it gets it extremely accurate. So first thing you got to do is get your piece into the chuck, make sure it's secure. Get a um, center drill because there's no flex in this drill and you want to drill the hole perfectly straight. Um, you're also going to need the uh, drill bit size required for whatever hole you're doing for tapping and today we're doing a 5 16 national fine so we're going to use a 17 64 drill bit for that so the first thing you want to do here is get your hole started and we're drilling into brass here so we're going a little faster than what you would on steel because on steel and stainless steel you'd usually do this at around 300 350 rpm so now that you've got your hole started, you're going to swap that out. Put in your main drill bit for your tap drill size. Now you can also do the same sort of thing on a drill press if you've got your item in the vise. Um, just make sure you go like dead center, right? Okay, so next step, it's going to open up our chuck, and I have a little tool that I built for doing this with, and it's a little adapter, and it's spring loaded, and this one's got a point on it. I have another adapter that switches out, and it has, uh, and basically instead of being pointed out, it's pointed inward, cone, so inner cone, uh, for the other types of taps. So the tap we're using today with the tap handle. I can, the tap handle I'm using, I can actually use this adapter with. So we're going to bring this right up like this. And we're going to get our tap centered in there. Now you can pre push in on this instead of using the feed first. So this is going to ensure us that we get 90 degrees out of this. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just switch the RPM speed to 115. This is going to st stiffen my chuck up a lot. And then I'm going to hold my key in the chuck just like this. So no power on this one. And we're just going to start it in like so. And then as you bring it out, bring the pressure in some more. And you want to do this until you get to the depth that you want to take that thread in. In this case, I'm going right straight through. So now I'm all already done. So what I can do right away is actually back this right out. Okay, so now our hole is threaded, let's check it. Yeah, we've got a good hole there. And that one's 
almost done. So we can go on, we can do the next one. Same procedure, clamp it down. We're going to do two of these for you. So next is our center drill. Again, we're going into brass, so we run it at a higher speed. So we're going to run this at 550. You don't want to go in very far with your center joke. You just want to make a nice little impression in there so that the bit can't skate. Doing it this way will definitely give you a good 90 degree uh, cut on your threads. Again, we drop the speed back to stiffen up the chuck. And we can just start going into it. Check this one out. And all done. So, in the end, we now have, in this case, for what we're making here is a power adjuster for a Crossman 2240. So, and it's that simple. So you can even modify a factory cap if you want to, but um, this is this video is about one way of threading on the lathe, not about the mod part so much. But um, you know, you get a nice thread in there, nice even thread, nice cut. You know, and that's what you want everything to be as even as possible. So our next video, we're going to show you how to do um, to, um, threading on the lathe using a die instead of a tap, and uh, we'll show you uh, how we do that. 